Hi y'all, Ollie here. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today we are doing oh, April favorites. Yes. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Um, first of all, I've had this sucker butt for months and I do not know why. Like I think I used it once when I first got it and then I just put it away. But it is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster in medium to dark and I just love her so much. And um, I've been like doing extra tanning lately, but it still shows up really nicely, which like I think by looking at it, I never really thought it would like show up dark enough or whatever to bronze, but it does. She's beauty. She blends out so nicely and it's like very buildable. So I like that too because sometimes I go in a little, a little heavy like I did today on the highlight. But anyways, I am loving she very much. Um, next I have is the Laura Mercier and this is actually the secret brightening powder it's not the translucent powder which I bought this one first thinking it was a translucent and then when I realized that it wasn't I just tossed it to the side too and I was using the translucent all this time but um, I was recently watching like Nicole Guerrero and she was using it and I was like maybe I should try it because I literally gave it like one shot and then threw it to the back when I realized it wasn't what I had thought it was but I'm actually really, really enjoying this and I feel like it's kind of like more finely milled than the, um, the Laura Mercier translucent powder because I feel like it can kind of get like a little, I don't know, a little cakey under the eye. Like, a, And this I feel like it never, it hasn't, but it never has. So I've only been using it for like the last couple of weeks, but it hasn't. It's been looking lighter under the eyes and yeah, I don't know. I just, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and then next, I'm probably not going to say this right, so we don't need no judgments, but it says the Mario Badascu, Badascu. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I really love this. I actually really, really love the, um, the drying lotion, like the spot treatment for, um, acne. It's like really, really good. Like me and my man use it all the time. We're like walking around the house with little dots all over our face but it's because it really really works but um I'm loving this I like to do it before I put on my makeup and then I like to use it as like a little setting spray like after especially with like your um your highlight and stuff it'll just help it just you know melt onto the face nicely so I really love that as well <sighs> and I mean, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about this. The Urban Decay um, Afterglow 8 Hour Powder Highlighter in the color Sin. A uh, yes. Um, this is what I have on my face right now. Do you see that sucker? Do you see her? Like, she's a beaut. Look at that. Look at that. Let me just swatch it. I mean, I mean really though like what just when you think you don't need another highlighter in your life urban decay plays you they just brought it they just brought like it reminds me a lot actually of the laura geller but i don't know it's just different it's just it's a little brighter it's a little it's a little bit more starky you know but i love it and these sucker buds i actually love both of them so much that I just got to show them both to you. And these are the NYX. These are the new um, ombre blushes. And this is in the color Mauve Me. And I mean, she is just so beautiful. And then I have the color Nude to Me, which is like color 6. And that's actually what I have on today as my blush. And she looks like this. And it's like actually a, like a very like almost like a bronzier kind of blush but I really like it for like more more natural days like I have on today no I'm just kidding but like you know just a subtle blush I really like this one a lot and they just blend out really nice and last all day and then next I think I might have even mentioned this last month but I don't care she's just in rotation like she just lives in rotation and it's the Too Faced chocolate bar like I just cannot get enough of salted caramel, of creme brulee, hazelnut, um, and hot chocolate, hot chocolate, I don't know. 
but literally I can just live right in here in these six shades right here no joke so I just love it I I love to do salted caramel and marzipan for like very subtle days of like eyeshadow but very like glowy and I just think it's just it's so good it's everything it is everything and then next is I might have even mentioned these before I know it's probably if I have it's been like a long minute but I just I just feel like I need to mention them again because I use them every single stinking day and this is the real techniques fiber lash I'm oh, sorry dual fiber brushes and they come in a set of three and it's like 20 bucks for all three of this this brush right here which I thought was like the dumbest thing ever is life it is it just like blends eyeshadow out so nicely and beautifully that like I'll usually pack on my shadow and then right where I want it to be like nice and blended I'll just take a clean this brush clean and go in and just blend out like the two colors together or sometimes six colors we don't know whatever kind of day I'm having but this brush is bomb and I love love this one this is a contour brush for exactly that for um liquid contours for cream contours there we go cream um like my chanel tan day day so i don't know something like that it's chanel bronzer it's the universal one they only do one color that cream bronzer this is bomb for that or even for the maybelline fit me concealers i like to i i like to i like to use the color um, I think it's like cocoa or something um, to contour with and this brush blends it out so beautifully and then this one is the F dual fiber face brush which I've always used to apply foundation all over my face but I've actually been loving this to apply blush mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it just is so soft and it doesn't like cake up your blush or like you know what I mean make it look really heavy it's like nice and light and then you can just kind of build it up so I love 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 these brushes all three of them they're just bomb.com and I'm also loving this Luxie tapered highlighting brush it's the Luxie 522 I got it in my ipsy bag like this thing is just life I love it it's so soft it literally makes putting highlighter on feel like so I don't know it's just so soft like I just love it so this brush is a yes I'm so glad I got it from Ipsy and then last brush is the Morphe E8 I own like six of these sucker butts like I cannot get enough of these they are just the perfect size they're the perfect density it's just perfection for your under eyes yes you can just I actually like I'll use it to do um, cream concealer and then when I'm going in to set like after I do the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder I'll go in with some banana um, powder from NYX and just just to brighten it back up and it just does a beautiful job at applying liquids and powders it's so nice and it's like six dollars it's bomb.com and then oh my oh I gotta talk about this like it's just life life um the ColourPop brow pencils yes 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 now I love this like I love the like the dryness of it but like also like the creaminess of it um, I love the size of it I thought I wasn't going to like that like it was very rounded on the tip it didn't come like to a fine point but no I love every single thing about it the only thing I do not love was how fast I went through the sucker butt because got it a couple weeks ago and I'm already completely out so yeah but it was five dollars so yeah can't complain about that um I used the color 
Honey Blonde. So I already ran out of this one, so that's not what I have in my brows today. But I do feel like Honey Blonde is my perfectest shade ever. Like, the most perfect shade I've ever found. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones, and I have several different colors. I have Auburn, I have Caramel, I have Blonde, and I just don't feel like any of them quite hit the color match that I want for my brows that ColourPop did in this Honey Blonde. And the little spoolie, I mean, they just, they just hit the nail right on the head when they made this product. Thank you very much, ColourPop. Very much. Oh. And Dan, I am absolutely loving these. I talked about it in my last favorites videos that I love Sephora's lip cream something I don't know I don't know why they call them that what they are is their liquid lipsticks and they are an amazing formula they remind me a lot of still liquid lipsticks um and they just came out with like a little um like they did a Disney collab or whatever and they came out with a set of these five mini lip creams that came in this cutesy little box right here that have a bunch of other liquid lipsticks in right now but it came in this little box right here and um they gave you these shades, which I think are so beautiful. The only one that I really don't care for is this one. And not that, like, there's something wrong with this. I don't care for this color on my lips. But I have a sister who's extremely fair-skinned. So this, I think, would look beautiful on her. So when I see her today, I'm going to unload it onto her. But the rest of these are all up my alley as far as the colors were um, concerned. But just... I mean, the packaging is adorable. They have like the little spots or whatever. Um, but the formulas are amazing. And I just, I think these colors are on point for spring and summer. So, yes. And I think it was like 20 or 25 bucks. But like, considering that each one of like the full size ones retail for $14, I think this is a pretty great freaking deal. So, I highly recommend the Minnie Mouse set from Sephora and I mean what like one of them comes with a little Minnie Mouse charm on it like how effing cute is that and then I also picked up from that collection the um it's the Disney Minnie Mouse Sephora um these are actually the um felt eyeliners and for I think I believe it was $20 you got two you got the black and you got a white liner, which I thought was really cool. And I have not used the white liner yet, but the black is on point and I've swatched the white and like, just look at that. Like, look at that payoff. Like, it's really, really pigmented. They're really beautiful. They go on smooth and nicely. They have a very fine tip. So I really, really, really love these. This actually reminds me a lot of Kat Von D's um, Trooper tattoo liner in Trooper but um these ones actually like come out I feel like they they look a little bit more watery when they come out but they dry exactly the same so I love these a lot and like I said there was like 20 bucks for both of them so that's a great deal um almost done here um one more thing from ColourPop. I did pick up these Karuchi collaborations with ColourPop. Um, and these are the matte, ultra matte lips. And this is the color K and Rouge. And I just think these are fan freaking tastic too. Um, I think these colors are a little bit more fall, but I really love them. And I have never discriminated on any color during any time of the year. So, I mean, I'm still wearing them. A lot but I think I mean if anyone's looking for an awesome brown K is an awesome like true brown and then um, Rouge is like a more of a burgundy deeper color I don't know but I love them both and I really liked um, the consistency of them I hadn't tried color pops um, liquid lipsticks yet so this was my first go at them and I really enjoy these two so yay for that and then, almost done, almost lastly, but this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye, and this is in the color Neutral Medium. This sucker butt, like I bought it, and same thing, I used it a couple times, I thought it was really great, but I didn't, I just, I didn't know how awesome it was, like I just wasn't on board, my mind did not comprehend, 
but now it 100% does and this is so bomb. I mean, I was literally putting like three to four different concealers under my eyes and now I just eliminated all that with this one and it just does a great job. What I do is I take my E8, my Morphe E8 brush and I just stipple it all under there and then I grab my beauty blender, I pick up any excess and it's just, that's it, that's it, just making my life easy thank you so much it cosmetics and then lastly is the cover fx natural finish oil free foundation i love she she's good to me I actually like went to work the other day and like had to take my makeup with me because i was running late and i was gonna do it at work and when i got to work i realized i forgot all my makeup brushes at home which yeah, how was I going to do that? So anyways, I figured all I could do was at least put on some concealer and some foundation with my own hands. I see Kristen Dominique do it all the time. Now, I've never been that brave, but I had to get on board. It beat looking like a beat up old lady at work. So I was like, might as well just try to cover up these bags. So I put on some concealer and then, with my fingers and then I put this on with my fingers. Oh my God, I've never loved a finish more in my life. Like... I'm still not really about putting my fingers in foundation and putting it on, but I guess the warmth of my hands and stuff, I mean, it just melted onto my skin and looked so flawless and so natural, but yet it covered up all this craziness that goes on under all this makeup. So I'm loving this. I thought it was, I mean, I've been using it for a long time and I've always really, really enjoyed it, but now, now with my fingers, it's just amazing. So anyways, that's it. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful, and I really, really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.